Welcome back to Lethal Hammer's channel. We have just got the coolant water blocks in. Some uh, packing receipt. Uh, nice uh, packaging. Even through a little coolant box. We did get two blocks. See what it looks like. Have the instructions on how to take apart the card. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I mean, they got some advertising for their their uh, multi-connection press a lot. Looks like they went with a foam packaging. Piece of cardboard or anything. No, just keep the stuff from sliding around. Again, looks like the new screws you'll be using. Definitely have the pads, huge pads, so it looks like we'd definitely be cutting out cutting out our own uh, pads for the memory and whatnot. They have their coolants, thermal grease. I bought my uh, own. And now for the block itself. Some of the plastic and the vibration of shipping. Definitely never want to touch the bottom of the block. Uh, human grease is one of the hardest things to clean off. Here's the bottom of the block. It's very shiny and smooth. Some angles in there. Just want to make sure I don't touch any of those surfaces and the coolants. Sorry, coolants block itself. It's very thin. Overall, very nice looking block. So it's like ice cold. And then just to show you guys, I did get the single. Uh, single slot brackets from EVG as well, so I can get rid of the dual. But the bit next uh, next video, I mean, this is the coolants uh, VID NX580, awesome block. Uh, they were 119 each, so even adding that to the cost of the card, it still comes in cheaper than what it would cost to buy the Hydrocopper 2. So the only difference is, is you have to take the time to do the install. So. I do have a card already set up over here. Uh, stay tuned for the video on taking that apart. Thanks for watching.